Okay, I have three boxes for the egg glue omelets. Now I know one of these is the kind of like the thermal cover I got because we're going to have some cold winter, so I want to keep these chicks nice and toasty as much as possible. So I'm going to compare these to the over easy we have out there. So this one should be all plastic versus wood. And a lot lighter probably and easier to put as to assemble I'm guessing though the other one's supposed to be pretty easy it's just heavy and easier with two people so oh look at that they put a B and C in the box so you know kind of the order to open them so this has got to be the, the thermal protector right here so I'm just gonna slice it It's gonna be hard to do one-handed, but eek. There we go. We got padding, and there we go. Whoa! And they're pretty tight. There we go. The extreme weather jack. So, should be good. Alright. So, I'm going to take apart the other, open up everything else and see what it all looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, I've opened up the first box, the A box, and it looks like we got some egg crates. Super duper cute for people, I guess, who want four eggs at a time, or eight, or I guess eight eggs, I guess. I don't know if they're all separated. So, oh, yeah. So, cute. And then we got a, a water container. And oh, the instructions. Gotta have the instructions. That's a pretty thick book. And I like how things come with instruction manuals. It's got, there we go. So I didn't get the one with wheels or anything, so I'm gonna have to drag it around if we want to do that. I didn't get the, the run because I have a separate run. So in here, we have a food container. So that's good. Pretty good size, so that should that should keep them going for a bit. Not sure what that part is yet. Oops. I'm guessing at the top. And another top. Uh, let's get the instruction book out. And, oh. And look at that, there's the slide on the door that just hit my foot. Real easy to open. You can get like an automated one if uh, desired. Oh wait, tray runners, this is nice and labeled. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the nesting area. And so... So like the rest is cardboard so that is the contents of box a okay let's see what's in box two this is the b box okay egg glue and i got more green pieces and they have um besides green they also have purple which I don't know. Normally, I, I I would I really like purple, but for some I just think that the the, the white and green looks really sharp. Even though my chickens are, should be all girls, but oh, that must be like a venting thing. All right, I'll find out more about that later. Must be the access panel to the nest, I'm guessing. A sturdy side. And probably an important box of screws. Fixings. Alright, so there we go. This is unboxed.
Cardboards. box entails. This is the C box. And oh there we go. So that's like the the run ladder. Uh oh the cube frame instructions. So gotcha. So there we go. Frame is kind of important. And that that part's metal. So here we go. So this is the egg glue cube. I think it's they recommend like six chickens or so, but I got some white Brahma that'll be kind of big, so I don't know. I have four of them, so maybe they'll be cozy in here. So that's the unboxing. Now to building. Stay tuned. God bless. Okay, so here is the omelet fully assembled. You know, as they say in the instructions, it takes about an hour. Eh, that's probably true. The base didn't take my son and I very long. Um, but we had to have a couple of breaks with assembling the main one. You know, we had dinner and I had to get going. And then my husband was mowing the lawn and he got like shavings or whatever, grass clippings and stuff. And then so we had to constantly move the parts. So, all right. So here is basically what I what we have here. So this is the door. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it. Um, and inside here so far, I haven't hooked up. Yeah, there's more grass clippings in there. But there's the food and the water, which would hook up to the run if you bought it but um we have our own chicken run that's bigger and we're gonna be using that so maybe we can attach those to that we'll see but uh so yeah, we go inside here that's where we'll hang out and then um this side here it's for easy cleaning or lawn clippings in there kind of see everything that's gonna be the nesting area that's the hangout area so you can close out the nesting into that green door if you want and then just to do egg collection you go into this bad boy uh oh Sorry, I need my stronger hand so there goes more but yeah just for egg collection and you can just slide and close that area out and again grass clippings go out everywhere so anyways but yeah it looks pretty sturdy pretty weatherproof hopefully it's uh predator proof but it looks pretty strong and you know really well designed i bought the um a thermal co covering for the winter time so hopefully it keeps the chickens nice and cozy um I don't know, as far as a, I don't know, heat a heat mechanism might be a little tricky. But there's a little bit of room. I might be able to run a cable. But I could probably put like a, like a flat warmer in there. I don't think I don't want to do a, can't do a, a heat bulb. But there'll be some options. But we'll see how this goes. So thank you for watching. God bless.